And thanks for all you do for the foundation. You do a wonderful job for us. I am here with Loretta Jones, who is the chair of the cosmetology department. And um, thank you so much for sharing your time for the foundation and for all you do for the community college. Um, Ms. Jones, if I were a prospective student that was interested in cosmetology out there on the street, first thing I would want to do is enroll in the college. What would I do to become enrolled in the college? Where would I go? First, you will actually attend um, our, well, our college orientation and do your um, admission package through do your admission package through the student services or go on our website and actually do it but um with that being said if once you go through student service and you do your counseling and all they will actually send you over to visit our cosmetology department which is an amazing cosmetology okay so then i'll be enrolled in this in the college and now i'll be a student of yours uh, walk me through, if you don't mind, a little bit about your program from start to finish. Uh, it's a, a four semesters, as I understand it. Tell me a little bit about what we'd be going through from start to finish. Well, cosmetology consists of four semesters. Um, you will actually come in and do cosmetology 111 and 112, which is our beginner session. It is actually an um, amazing part of it, which is your hard part of it, the core of it. They actually give you a beginning from the orientation all the way up into the business aspect of it. But you'll be able to do the basic entry level of cosmetology to be able to go to the advanced floor. The next section would be COS 113 and 14, which would be middle ways. Then you would do 15 and 16, which is very important that you actually attend that because it's only taught one um, semester, which is in the summer. Then you finish up with COS 117 and 118, which actually give you a full view of cosmetology. And you will be able to do their um, state exam right I, and i understand the state exam is um relatively easy compared to the exam you have don't you have to have an 85 on your exam and only a 70 or 75 on the state exam yes that's fantastic well again ms jones thank you so much for all you do for the community college and